Okay, so now the head section of our website is pretty much following all of the main best practices, except that we have this bootstrap link here, which gives us the nice styling that we have so far. And you'll see it'll get a lot nicer once we utilize bootstrap more. But we're going to have to relocate this link, and we will do that in a separate file when we add it over here. But I wanted to take a moment just to quickly talk about this WP head function. Okay, so this comes from WordPress, and it's a very important function. It has a lot of different capabilities. And one of the main things you need to know for now is that this head function is used by a lot of third-party plugin uh, authors, right? So WordPress is well known for having a massive library of plugins that allow you to do all kinds of things. You can just kind of plug and play, and with a few clicks of a button, you can turn your web WordPress website into an e-commerce store, a membership website, a social network. That's what plugins do, and so they're very important, and a lot of plugins rely on you having this right here just before the closing head tag. And they call this a hook when you're authoring plugins. That means when you write the plugin and store it in a separate file somewhere in your WordPress directory, what happens is you can call upon this right here and say, okay, I'm going to inject some code right here so that my plugin works properly. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. And you may have noticed, so my server's running. If I go to the homepage and refresh, you'll see we have a little bit more space up here um, than we had before. So if I were to comment this out, and I can do that just by highlighting all of this and doing command forward slash, on a PC you could highlight all of this like that and just go up here to edit and then comment and you'll see toggle comment and you should see the uh, key command for it as well right there for PC. So if I comment this out just like that, and then save my file and go over here and refresh, you'll see it goes away and we're back to the way it was. So it's doing something to our CSS. It's injecting some CSS. Okay, so if I go back over here and I right click and inspect and go to the head section, we can see all of this stuff in green is what the WP head function is doing. It's adding quite a bit of stuff. So all of this stuff, these link tags and that meta tag right there, that came from these link tags and meta tags up here. Okay, but down here when I comment this out, you can see in green here, this is all the stuff that it's doing. It's adding quite a bit of code. It's adding some CSS right there, as you can see, kind of the 46 pixels. And so it's a very important function, and you want to make sure that you have it in there. So I'm going to uncomment by undoing. You can just go to Edit, Undo. On a Mac, it's Command-Z. So I'm going to undo that and then save my file. So I just wanted to point out you definitely need to have this. This is considered a best practice to have the WP head function, just like that with the semicolon, right before your closing head tag. I'm going to save that and we'll move on from here.